Australia's cattle export industry has been called into question when footage this week emerged of a cow being violently beaten to death with a sledgehammer. In other news, another Australian export, Flume, has just put out his new record, Skin. But Matt, how come no one's beaten Flume to death with a sledgehammer? What's his deal? He's like just some guy who makes like... He's young! Yeah, well like, like he makes like these sort of like heavily side-chained like bright and excruciating like melodies and beats and he just kind of gets like some indie pop like sultry singer with some crossover indie cred to sing over the top, mm. bleat aimlessly over the top. <laughs> It's um, it's like it's like really repetitive, mm. um, and it's really unpleasant. It's like the he just kind of has this ethos of like the bigger it is, and I think he described this album as being like a supernova. Like it sounds like the world eating itself, but um, I really don't want to listen to the world eating itself if this is what it sounds like. It's very, very much the same thing, over and over and over. All the songs have the same chord progressions, it's just, it's, which, is, which is the same as all other songs' chord progressions. It's not like yeah. it's Flume's chord progression. It's not like yeah. the burial thing of like, yeah. it's distinctly burial. Yeah. The Radiohead like, chord progression. No, it's not that. It's like the Flume chord progression, which is the same as everyone else. That Jamie like, XX. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe Flume's a nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure he is. You know. I'm not sure he is, actually. I don't know if he is, yeah. but... Again, like you said the word sidechain and uh, he's basically just like sidechain the artist. Yeah. I mean, everyone on the record is um, terrible. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, I haven't listened to many of them outside of it other than like, you know, Raekwon's on it. Oh, and like crazy. Raekwon puts in like a passable Raekwon verse, but mm. you'd rather hear that verse on anything else than yeah. you would on this. Beck shows up at the end and as you know, when we were kids, we used to listen to a lot of Beck and I think Beck's a really talented guy. Mm. And Beck just stinks up the joint on the truly awful closer. I thought um, it would be a saving grace. And I'd heard people saying like, yeah, but wait for the Beck song. Wait an hour and 20 minutes for, for the, the Beck song. For the it's Beck a long song. record. Yeah, there is a song called Wall Fuck. Mm. Um, Which is probably the best song on the record. Yeah. It's actually a bit wiggier. There's no excruciating vocalist what's, over the I was going to say, what's great about that, I mean, every now and then it's kind of okay because the vocalists leave and you're like, thank God I don't have to listen to any of those awful voices anymore. Mm. Uh, and it feels momentarily good, but then the problem is that one, then you're just stuck listening to Flume. Mm. But the problem with Flume is that when his production skills get better, uh, he still like has such a bad ear like, it's so tasteless. You can tell that he doesn't listen to, like, any music other than Flume, you know? Like, mm. and so all of his music just sounds like Flume. So even mm. as his, like, production skills get better, they're still, he's still just using those, like, heightened production skills to make the same yeah. song over and over again. I would recommend this record to fans of Flume. Okay. Because it sounds heaps like Flume, just being Flume and pounding out that good old Flume you've come to know and love from Flume. Um, but if you want something that in any way uh, is different to Flume or an expansion on Flume or an evolution of Flume, uh, I would suggest listening to something that isn't Flume because Flume just sounds like Flume. Two Zacks. Zack, Zack. Yeah, it's a stinker. That's um, uh, one Zach and half a Gotchi from your mate Gotchi. Zach. Gotcha. But he's probably a nice guy. It's a stinker.